Holidays will be here before we know it. Yeah. It's inevitable. It's November already. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Uh, but you want to be ready, right? Maybe you're hosting some get togethers at your home, thinking of those holiday recipes, and you probably want something quick and easy if possible. Yeah, and if it's just for your family or if you have a larger group, Jen Bear has just what we need to know. The holidays, again, fast approaching, Jen, so we need to know uh, what do we do? Yeah, that's how <laughs> right. I know. I went to Starbucks this morning. They're already having the red cups. Oh, so goodness. It it's time. The holidays. Yes. Yes. And my new magazine just came out. This is. Get Cracked Slow Cooker Holiday yes. Classics. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to share some recipes here from the magazine and also kind of a sneak preview of what I'll be doing at the Arizona Food and Wine Experience this weekend at Fashion Square. Love it. Excellent. So we'll start off with a mushroom crostini. This is a super easy recipe. Um, you can just one pound of mushrooms, any kind. I used half a pound of baby bellas and half a pound of white mushrooms. Just slice those up, put them in your slow cooker for about four, to four hours. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of white wine or chicken broth, some garlic, a lot of goodies in there. And then you can just serve it on um, toasted bread. Yeah. You can even um, keep it in the slow cooker in a warmer and let people kind of serve themselves as well. And you can just smell nice. those green yeah. onions. And yeah. it looks yeah. fancy, too. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it Very looks fancy. like you put a lot of work into it, but yeah. really, <laughs> really, we did it. We know that. that. Cooking, though, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. <laughs> yes, for sure. This is a baked brie, and I love baked brie, and it's mm. kind of nice to indulge a little bit around the holidays, but I don't like when the brie gets cold. Do no, you? definitely not. So we like it nice and, and yeah. warm and oozy. So if you want to cut into that, okay. I just you put it in your slow cooker for about two hours on low. It should be a little bit oozy for us. And um, oh, yeah. I like oh, this slow cooker. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can smell the cranberries. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, oh, the cranberries. A little bit of brown sugar just to give it a little bit of sweetness, and that's great. Um, again, on toasted bread with crackers, mm. um, fresh fruit is great as well. Oh, so, yeah. that looks amazing. Another little yummy holiday treat. And mm. those recipes, as well as this one, are all in my magazine. And this is a dip because I love yeah. spinach dip. <laughs> this is a cheesy spinach crab dip. Right. So, it's a little bit uh, unique take on like a spinach dip or spinach mm -hmm. artichoke dip. So, we use the crab instead of the artichokes, and then the secret ingredient really is um, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of lemon juice. Oh, okay. And, um, a little bit of bacon. Always tastes better with bacon, right? Everything and you just does. put it all in at the same time. Put everything into the slow cooker and cook it on low for about four hours. It melts, gets all kinds of ooey goodness in there, yeah. and, and you're ready you're to, go. to go. A little zest on the top. A little bit of wow. lemon zest. Yeah, little lemon yes, zest. that always all adds a nice little touch. And you're for sure. One more time, where are you going to be this weekend? Where can people come out and check this out? This weekend, I'm going to be at Scottsdale Fashion Square. I'll be there Saturday and Sunday, but <laughs> Sunday I'm presenting um, a little bit of a food demo, and I'll have some tasty um, treats as well. So people can sample the food at the Arizona Food and Wine Experience That's at awesome. Scottsdale Fashion Square. So Love I hope it. everybody comes to see me. All right, good stuff. There the we magazine. go. I'll just rip it off there. Yeah, you got there go you to go. Get <laughs> and jenbear.com. That's right. Thanks, Jen. Thank you.